The Gallardo was the first car by Lamborghini to be powered by a V10 engine. While Lambos were generally known for having V12s under their hoods, the Gallardo proved to be extremely popular. In fact, it became the first Lamborghini production car to sell more than 10,000 units. This LP564 was introduced in 2008, five years after the original Gallardo made its debut. The LP564 boasted a larger engine, more power, and a lighter body. It even looked different than its predecessor. Indeed, the LP564 was a better car in every sense of the word. I so boom, my name is Kip, and we back with more Gran Turismo 7 and a new car that was added in the latest update, the Lamborghini Gallardo. Without further ado, let's get in this thing. I'm in the Gallardo, laughing like Ricky Ricardo. <laughs> if you listen to Fabulous, you know that line. Without further ado, we're going to go into the tuning shop because you know we got to tune this bad boy up a bit. Going to give it a nice little sports tune, you know. It already got the sports hard, so that's good. Give it a sports suspension. I don't think we need to do the engine for real. I don't think we need to do that either. Throw a, a turbo charge in there. Of course. I think that's it for real. All right. And before that, we are going to uh, give it the give it the VR tour, you know. So let me go ahead and dial in, and we're gonna check it out on the showroom floor. Look at it already; it looked beautiful, don't it? This is typically my favorite. Let's go uh, San Galgano. All right. Listen to that engine. Sounded kind of quiet at first, but then it, it just needed to get the revs up. You feel me? <laughs> I love the wheels. Yeah, the wheels look good. I like the wheels. That's probably my favorite part of the car, personally. But the Gallardo definitely got a lot of play back in the day in the old Need for Speed games. I think the first one it appeared in was either uh, what High Stakes or was it Hot Pursuit 2? It was one of those. And the Lamborghini Yellow. An iconic color since the Diablo. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Get down low, down to the floor. <laughs> Turn the lights on if you see the lights. The lights are better observed at night. Uh, there's still plenty of light around here. But that's dope. Go around the back again. the inside view I love the center the dashboard in the center I've never been in a Gallardo in real life so I have no idea <laughs> if this is true to uh true to real life but it's Gran Turismo so I'm a trusted, obviously. You know, polyphony don't cut corners like the mother games. <laughs> I 
I'm, I'm joking, by the way. Don't don't take that seriously. I do not want fanboys in my comments or haters. Or maybe I do, man. You know, I welcome all. Check the mirrors. Make sure ain't nobody sneaking up on me, you heard? <laughs> All right, well, you know, head back outside. Give it another 360. I didn't check the... Ooh, look, you can actually see the engine. That's not common. That's not common with uh, um, other cars because obviously they're under the hood. But this hood is see-through. So... We can actually check out the engine, which is really dope. Real, get real close up on it. I love the attention to detail. All right, we over the roof. over the roof all right well that's a nice little 360 of the Gallardo on the showroom floor and with that it's time to take it on the road and this week we actually have a weekly challenge that caters to the Gallardo with a one make event on Sardegna. So without further ado, let's get into that. All right. Second race ever on the new physics. So this should be fun. My first race was the WRX on the dirt road. So this definitely be interesting. I've heard some horror stories, man. But also I've heard that, you know, the people who actually know how to drive are just fine. So we will see which category I fall into today. Why are the hands twitching so much? Like that kind of throws me off seeing the hands twitch like that. All right, let's go.
that was different. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the car certainly does not feel like it's on rails anymore. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that was different for sure. Man. Whew. Well, that was the Gallardo. That was surely different. I just want to see it in action. Yeah, that surely was a task trying to keep that thing on the road, man. Golly. Thing was sliding all over the place. Yeah, see, I don't like how the wheel, the the hands in the wheel is twitching like that. Maybe that's happened before and I didn't notice, but it was extra noticeable in this race for whatever reason. But all in all, it was a decent experience, and the car is beautiful. It just, you know, it takes getting. It takes taking some time to know the car, to learn the car, and to get a real feel for it. And as someone who doesn't drive a Lamborghini every day because I'm broke as fuck, uh, <laughs> you know, it's different. But like I said, man, I still have fun. I like learning new cars. I like, uh, you know, getting a feel for them. Even if I'm absolutely terrible at first and I look like absolute dog shit on the track. It is what it is, man. enough for now anyway that concludes that race and I think we will take another look at the boy before we call it for the night you know I like to do one last little you know 360 you feel me so I'm gonna go ahead and dial in I like to just go to the empty parking lot the creepy empty parking lot Do another 360, you One thing I brought up before is I wish you could open the doors and pop the hood and pop the trunk. Give it a real showcase, give it a real car show feel, you feel me? I think that would be dope for sure. <laughs> All right. Feels good to sit behind the wheel of a nice 
Lamborghini. <laughs> One could fantasize, right? <laughs> and whatnot. See that thing in action. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's it. That concludes this video. That was the new returning. I don't know if it's been in a previous game before, but here it is. Lamborghini Gallardo. I'm sure some people have demanded it. And here it is, man. So I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope y'all enjoy it even more than I did. It's a great looking car and it's a great feeling car. The Ferrari 430 Scuderia represented the epitome of drive and exhilaration. Whether it was tasked with the scenic coastal road or attacking a racetrack. Building on the impressive performance of the F430 series, the Scuderia offered an even more intense experience with reduced weight and enhanced dynamics. This lightweight sports engine featured an advanced evolution of the F430's electronic stability system tuned for track performance. Following in the footsteps of the 360 Challenge Stradale, a street legal version of its racing counterpart, the 430 Scuderia embodied the spirit of a true road-going racer. I'm running out of money. <laughs> Let's hop right in, baby. And the first thing we usually do is the VR showcase, man. You know, check it out right on the showroom floor, you feel me? All right, there it is. The Ferrari and all its red Ferrari glory. Mm. Oh, you heard that. Michelin tires, Ferrari rims, got the big 430 on the back. Oh, look at the, look at the exhaust. I like how the exhaust is uh, positioned. That's kind of dope looking. Can we see the engine? Sure can. Look at that. Look at that. That's cool. You can even see the writing on the wheel. Size is that. <laughs> oh, it's down here. You can see it down here. Look at those brakes. Lights. Hit you. Pardon me. <laughs> now let's check out the inside. Ah. Real, real clean on the inside. Not too much to it. Check the mirrors. Always check the mirrors. All right, man, not too much to the interior, but 
It's all good. Still a great looking car from the outside. And I mean, it's clean on the inside. I like that. Sometimes you don't need a whole lot of uh, bells and whistles. Yes, yeah, very nice, very nice. Well, that was the VR showcase, and without further ado, it's time to take it on the road. We're gonna see if we can knock out one of these weekly challenges, you know? Two birds, one stone. We got the hypercar. PP no limit. Let's see what's, what's uh they got the Enzo Ferrari, the Chiron, the Spider. I wanna I wanted to see, go back and uh, see if my car could actually compete as stock, you know, because we got the Chiron and things like that. That's one of the cars. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to put a little more power in this Ferrari here, which is just fine with me. Got sports. All right. Oh, titanium joints. Oh, that's different. I don't think I've ever been able to purchase something from the um, from the ultimate category before this car. So that's different. Kind of dope, I assume. But yeah, that should be enough. We gonna make it do what it do. You feel me? Yeah, but I'm seriously running low on money, so <laughs> I'm going to need to figure something out. <laughs> All right, man, this is the 430 Scuderia on Autodrome. Let's go. Oh. I'm still getting used to the new physics, so forgive me if my driving is subpar. Or, you know, just flame me. Ooh, whatever, that's cool too, you know. <laughs> whatever floats your boat. Go. Let's go.
go. My apologies, good sir. Let's go. Almost at the front of the pack.
almost lost. I feel like you're getting faster. Damn rubber band effect. I'm have to start purposely sliding around these corners. Fourth? I wasn't even top. What? Oh, hell no. No, I don't. No, nah, that's crazy. No, nah, I need to. No, nah, I need to put this baby in the. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nah, nah. We gotta do something about that. I gotta spend more of my money. Let's go. Do this. They playing with me. See what else we can do. I got, I got. Boys playing with me. Gotta show them what time it is. The tires make all the difference, really. That's kind of crazy. But no, nah, we gotta, we gotta show these boys what time it is. They playing with me. I can't believe I got fourth. I wasn't even at the front of the pack. That's crazy. You gotta do all that work. All right, man. Let's try this again. call no more. I don't like that cloud over there. Look like it's about to start. My bad. Look like it's about to start raining. start raining I'm gonna kick myself cuz I didn't uh, buy rain tires
<laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's no competition now. Not even a competition now. Throw racing tires on everything and you'll be all right. <laughs> That's what it seemed like. too fast for him now. lost it baby so far ahead now I could just cruise if I wanted to
Game be trying to sabotage me, yo. Let's see how it is. I see what the play is. Game be cheating sometimes. That's all. I wasn't even going all out. I was cruising at that point. Caught up. Oh no, I can't have that. That back end kick out easy. That's kind of crazy. can't just slam the brakes no more. And you gotta watch your revs when you're downshifting. First place, baby. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's how it's supposed to be. They tried me earlier, but we got it done. Just give me my money. Damn, yeah, man. It's not a bad car at all. I'm not the biggest fan of Ferraris, but I like how they look and I respect the uh, prestige and renown that they have as a brand. You know, it's all good. It's all good. I'm always welcoming more cars into the game. People love Ferrari. Hey, I can't, uh, can't fault them for that. I mean, look at it. It's a nice looking car. I would definitely love to drive one in real life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get a better look at it. 
talking about. But yeah, man, there it is, the Ferrari 430, newest addition to the game. And that's the end of this video. I appreciate y'all walking with me. Walking with me. <laughs> I appreciate y'all rocking with me. I appreciate y'all riding with me once again. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you know whenever I drop another video. My name is Kip. I'm signing off. See y'all in the next video. Peace.